OK, now we're going to look at um, how we do the actual calculations. And we're going to focus, uh, first of all, on eigenvector centrality. Uh, and to make life simple, I'm just going to uh, relate it to a three-node triangle uh, or a three-node social network. So this is the undirected version, which we looked at uh, uh, earlier on. Um, and uh, again, just to help us understand the process, I'm just going to jump into PowerPoint. OK, so calculating the eigenvector centrality for each node in a network. We need to convert the network into a matrix, first of all. And a matrix is a set of real or complex numbers or elements arranged in rows and columns to arrange a rectangular array. This is an example of a 3x3 three three matrix, which we're going to use. So that essentially is what a matrix is all about. Now, if you consider the uh, the real life example I did earlier on for the 319 uh, nodes, this is going to be huge and it makes it um, quite complicated. And that's why uh, you do need a computer to do the calculations for you. But at least now you'll get an idea of um, how the calculations work. So converting an undirected network into a matrix, how do we do this? Well, here's the example in Gephi that we looked at uh, earlier on. This is the matrix that's going to end up as, but what does it actually mean? So we go from Reza, you've got a diagonal uh, which is going to be zero. So from Reza to Sophie, we've got one connection, one connection there. And then from Reza to Luca, we've got another connection. Sophia, she's got uh, one connection to um, Luca, uh, Luca over here, and then one connection to Teresa, so that's why those two, and then the same with Luca. That is the um, the matrix that will be used. So here are the calculations that you're going to use to work out the eigenvectors. You first of all have to work out the eigenvalues for each of the um, uh, um, uh, the, the, the nodes and then convert it into uh, uh, eigenvectors. Now I'm not going to go through all of this. You can see the, the calculations here, but what I will do is show you uh, a, a link to and I'll put the link uh, below a, a website which will help uh, with identifying doing the calculations for you. So we've got um, here the matrix calculator. So as we saw in the example, because something this actually is quite a difficult thing if you're not used to it, uh, working out the, um, the 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 matrix. But once you've got that, you can add it to your uh, matrix calculator here. So I've got the values. So that was Reza, Sophie, Luca, Reza, Sophie, Luca. We've got the values put uh, placed in here, uh, and then I'll, all I have to do is click on Find and it gives me my values, which in this case is going to be 111. And if I go back to uh, Gephi uh, and remind us of the outputs, the eigenvectors are 111. If you needed to add uh, another row in there, you can just carry on doing so at whatever size you want to end up with. Within a social network um, it will always be a square matrix. So that is the uh, way you'd calculate the um, uh, undirected uh, version. Now if we go back and look at the directed version, slightly different. So we've got the uh, network as we saw so in this case, Reza has got one link to Sophie and one link to Luca. Sophia has got one link because it's directed to Luca. There we go. And Luca has got one link to Reza. So it's directed, so it's going that way. So that was slightly different to the earlier version, uh, i.e. the undirected, because these two were filled in, but we don't have uh, any backlinks uh, back to Sophia and um, 
to Teresa. That's why that. Um, sorry. Yep, yeah, uh, back there from Sophia to Teresa. That's why they they were not filled in. So in in this case here, if if we go to our uh, example, and I change that to zero and zero, and I'll just close that down. Find. So first of all, it finds the um, eigenvalues, and then it calculates the eigenvectors, which in this case is um, 0 0.755, 5, uh, 0.570, and 1. And if we go to our Gephi and have a look, We got 0.755, which was Riza, the first one. Uh, Sophia's 0 0.57, 0 0.57. So Riza is the first one. Remember, we had Riza at the top there, Sophia and Luca, and then one for Luca at the top. And that's how the eigenvectors are calculated. So if I go back and just remind ourselves of what eigenvector centrality is, in graph theory, eigenvector centrality, also called eigencentrality, is a measure of the influence of a node in a network. The relative scores that are assigned to the nodes in the network are based on the concept that connections to high-scoring nodes contribute more to the score of the node in question than to equal connections to low-scoring nodes. And then what that means is a node may have a high degree score, i.e. many connections but a relatively low eigenvector centrality score if many of those connections are with similarly low score nodes. Also a node may have a high between us score indicating it connects disparate parts of the network but a low eigenvector centrality score because it's still part uh, it's still some distance from the centers of the network. So we use this eigenvector centrality um, to help us answer the question of who or what holes wide-reaching influence within the network or who or what is important within the network. 